A big win today for the North Carolina Tar Heels as they send their Coastal Division rivals, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, home by a score of 28 to 7. Let's face it, if the Tar Heels were going to remain competitive for the Coastal Division title, they had to win this game and they got it done in convincing fashion behind some big plays in the running game and by shutting down that quirky triple option Georgia Tech offense. The Tar Heels surprised the sellout homecoming crowd with new dark blue jerseys that presented a sleeker look on the field. North Carolina got a very strong performance out of running back Sean Drawn, who carried the ball 17 times for 90 yards, including this 36-yard run that would set up a Cam Sexton touchdown pass to tight end Zach Pianalto. The Tar Heels would take a 7-0 lead into halftime, but Carolina waited until the fourth quarter to explode offensively, and once again, as an all their victory, Carolina won the turnover battle, committing zero turnovers. This punt was muffed and recovered by the Tar Heels at the end of the third quarter and would set up a Ryan Houston two-yard touchdown run. Carolina would get the ball back again off a J. Bo Shaw fumble and get the ball back into Houston's hands for another short yardage touchdown. With the game well in hand, the Tar Heels were still not done offensively. Cam Sexton found Hakeem Nix for a 31-yard touchdown strike on a fourth down situation with 4-11 left to go in the game. Up 28-7, former starting quarterback T.J. Yates entered the game and took a snap for the first time since September 20th. He found Akeem Nix for a 28-yard hookup, which would give Nix the school record for career receiving yards. Carolina really didn't miss a beat in this game. Because one of the things that you're always concerned about is how are you going to, you know, how do you handle adversity is one thing, but how do you handle success when you've never had it? And I think that that's a, uh, as you grow a football program, I think that's a very important part of the growing process is the ability to enjoy the moment. I mean, I want them to celebrate. I want them to have a great time today. And they walk in that building tomorrow afternoon. We watch that film at 3 o'clock. It's as if this game never happened. The Tar Heels have locked up their first winning season since 2001, and their seven wins this season match their previous combined win total over the past two years. For the Tar Heels to make it to Tampa and the ACC championship game, they're going to need a lot of help. That's why I'm sure they're scoreboard watching right now as the Virginia Cavaliers take on the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. All the Tar Heels really can do is win the remaining games on their schedule. Their next game is Saturday at 3.30 at Maryland. Pluster.net will have coverage of that game. But today, the Tar Heels handled their business 28-7 over the 22nd ranked Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. From Keenan Stadium, I'm Rob Gunst. Pluster.net, the college network.